You know, the news of Pastor Aaron Ivey's firing has really taken everybody by surprise. There has been just reaction of shock, disappointment, absolute just disgust, really, over what he did. But nobody is more shocked, is more upset, is more heartbroken than his wife, Jamie Ivey, who really, we all think, did not know that any of this was going on. And I'll get to that here in a little bit uh, with the reaction that she gave. What was it that led to this, though? For Aaron Ivey, somebody who was very respected amongst Christian circles, you know, not just a worship pastor, but he also participated in many conferences. You know, him and Jamie had their own podcast as well. They were, you know, talking about, you know, marriage and, you know, what it means in God's eyes and, you know, the definition of a biblical marriage and all of these things. But to know that he was living a double life uh, is just, it's beyond sad. It really is. We're going to get into all of this here in just a second. Welcome, everybody, to Not By Sight News. Yes, a blind Christian guy here reporting to you on the news of the end times and so much more. Thanks for spending part of your day with me today, reminding you, as always, that we walk by faith, not by sight. And for someone like me, well, it's kind of my only option. I also remind you guys, if you enjoy and appreciate the work I do here, why not consider blessing my ministry with a generous donation? I could really use your help. There's a couple different ways you could do it. One easy way, just click the super thanks button down below on this YT video here. That is how you can tip me with a one-time donation of any amount. Whatever you can contribute, it helps and adds up. Doesn't matter how small or how big, or become a premium member of Not By Sight News. You could join my Patreon today for as little as five bucks a month. Patreon.com slash Not By Sight News, link in the description. When you join the Patreon, you get all the videos before they ever hit my main YT platform. I always take care of the Patreon members first. You guys also get exclusive links over there. These topics we discuss, I include them up on Patreon now. Just the way things are getting with YT, I can't take any chances of putting links in there they don't like. So it'll be for you on Patreon where also you can comment censorship free on all videos and you can even send me DMs. So check it out again. It's patreon.com slash news. Link in the description. Big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. This is Austin Stone Community Church in Austin, Texas. They are affiliated with the Southern Baptist Convention. And it was put out in a message to congregants on Sunday, February 11th, that they had in fact fired their worship pastor and pastor of creativity, Aaron Ivey. And the church, to their credit, I'll definitely give them credit for this, they were transparent with the congregation. That does not happen in a lot of churches. You know, many of them try to hide what these pastors do, even defend them at times. But that is not what Austin Stone did. So I will commend them for that. And they were not at all shy in sharing all that happened here and all that was discovered. They talk about how it was made known to them on Sunday, Sunday evening, February 4th, about inappropriate behavior involving Aaron Ivey. It was the very next day that they had called him for a meeting and they'd immediately fired him, terminated him from everything having to do with Austin Stone Church uh, over what he did. And they revealed that to the congregation. That included inappropriate behavior uh, in the form of messages with, and this goes back all the way to 2011, okay? But with three main adults. However, it wasn't just adults. This is where it gets really, really grim. At least one of the individuals, let me just say, was not an adult. That he was engaging in inappropriate messages, photos. There was also apparently alcohol and other substances involved as well in these exchanges. It's just, it's absolutely horrific to think about somebody who is not only married, but is a father of four. Three of those kids, by the way, are also adopted. And to find out that he was doing these things uh, while he was cosplaying as a pastor is just sad. It really is. Um, again, to the church's credit, they did the right thing by informing everybody about what happened. And they could have hit it, and thank God they didn't do that. Now, again, being affiliated with the SBC, the SBC, as we know, over the past couple of years has been caught up in their own drama 
involving inappropriate behavior and all of that. Of course, there was the big report that came out back in May of 2022 by Guidepost Solutions that really just put a stain on the SBC as a whole. And so many of these churches now are doing everything they can to properly report this and, you know, not take this lightly. And by the way, the church also reported this to police. That's the other factor in this too, is that Aaron Ivey may be looking at actually some jail time here for what he did. You know, that we're still waiting to hear, you know, officially on, but he definitely could based off what's been found out. Now, uh, I will have more of this scope. It will be available on my Patreon at patreon.com slash news. And again, I have to put it up there for obvious reasons because of the nature of the topic that we're discussing here. It's just, that's the platform that it has to be. But if you want to read the full scope, that's where you can find it. And it gives you even more information uh, on what he did. Of course, if you're already a part of the Patreon, that's great. You're already getting access to this content. If not, why not sign up? It's a great way uh, to not only access this content, but you also bless this ministry as well for as little as five bucks a month. And of course, too, don't forget, you can always hit the super thanks button down below on the YT video here if you prefer to bless the ministry that way as well. Now, Jamie Ivey, a very popular podcaster in her own right. She has her own podcast called The Happy Hour. And as I mentioned before, too, she's had a podcast with her husband, Aaron, as well. But also, she was getting ready to promote her brand new book called Why Can't I Get It Together? Now, the time frame on this, you, you got to look at this because it's very interesting. Uh, it was just on Friday, February 9th that she went on Good Morning America to actually promote the book. Now, I, I point that out to you because that, again, was five or just four days really after Aaron Ivey was fired by Austin Stone Community Church. Remember, they brought him in on that uh, Monday, February 5th, and they fired him for the inappropriate behavior. So here goes Jamie on February 9th on Friday, and she's appearing on Good Morning America to promote the new book. And then even later that day, she put out social media posts talking about how she was off to Chinatown to enjoy some epic Chinese food with her husband, Aaron. So everybody was wondering, did Jamie know at that point that Austin had been fired for what he did? Did she know what he had been doing all the way since at least 2011? Because it sure didn't appear to be that way after she sent out that post. But now we have another post from Jamie. This one came out on Tuesday, February 13th. So now this is just two days after the church made the announcement about Aaron's firing. This was a very different tone. This one wasn't talking about going to Chinatown to get Chinese food with her man and all of that. No, 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 no. This post said the following, that all future public promotions and events that were scheduled for Jamie to appear relating to the promotion of her new book, Why Can't I Get It Together, have been suspended due to an unexpected crisis. I wonder what that crisis could be. I wonder what that crisis could be. They respect privacy. That is Jamie uh, is asking for privacy at this time as she deals with this, but not only will she not be making any promote of the scheduled promotional appearances for the book, but she will also be completely stepping away from social media as well as public appearances of any kind as she takes time you know to to deal with this to to settle on what has happened what has taken place to heal to digest it all of it now at no point in the message was it you know specific as to what that crisis is but we already know so this to me tells me she had absolutely no idea what Aaron was doing all this time. That is a complete blindside type of response right there. You're talking about just, you know, four days earlier on Good Morning America, she's in a great mood talking about her new book. She's going to Chinatown with Aaron to have Chinese food. And he knew, you got to think about this. He knew four days earlier that he had been fired from Austin Stone Community Church for what he did. And he didn't even tell his wife. At least that's the way it looks. I'm going to tell you what, if this is how she found out was from the church announcing it and Aaron didn't tell her, ooh, 
That is not good. That is not good at all. Because again, if you take a look at what this couple did, you know, they were the, you know, the married couple that everybody wanted to be like. Right, they spoke at conferences. Remember, their their podcast. They talk about complementarianism, you know, and all of that. Right, the roles of of, of a man and uh, a husband and wife in marriage. All of these things. And then Aaron was doing these things behind the scenes. You know, keep Jamie Ivy in your prayers. I mean, I can't imagine how she must be feeling right now with this news coming out. If she, I mean, and again, it looks like it. If she really did, in fact, find out from the church's statement and not from her own husband about this. Talk about a shock. Pray for the kids as well who are also dealing with this. And to everybody at Austin Stone Community Church, you know, I had a viewer reach out to me um, on the initial video that I did discussing this when it first came out. And uh, they expressed just absolute shock over this, uh, letting me know that the church had absolutely no idea that Aaron was doing this. Uh, they're completely disgusted by it, and they have uh, asked for prayers for them as well. Because when you have a situation like this break out, it doesn't just affect the people involved in it and their families, but it also affects the entire church as a whole as well. And it it sadly causes many of these congregants to lose their faith. And so pray that that does not happen. You know, Ultimately, we want to always make sure that our faith is in the Lord. And not in man, because man has fallen. And in these last days that we're living in right now, we are going to see even more of this exposure take place. Many wolves are deceiving the flock to this day. And you know, the Bible talks about, you know, even the elect will be deceived. You know, they talk a good game, they they look the part, they you know, they act the part out in, you know to you in public, but then behind the scenes, they are just a completely different person. And it's all prophetic, really. I mean, it's all in scripture. Um, it's just sad when, you know, people are affected by it, uh, especially, you know, friends of yours, family, loved ones, all of it. It's just really tough. Uh, but again, I'll have more information for you f on this. it be over my Patreon at patreon.com slash news. I welcome your thoughts. You can leave them down below, especially if you are somebody who attends Austin Stone Community Church and you'd like to chime in about this or anybody else in general, feel free to let me know. What I want to do right now is something I do on all these videos, and that's end this video on hope. It's part of my ministry outreach. Of course, I talk about the end time Bible prophecy headlines, keep you guys up to speed and everything else going on. I do it because, yes, we are in the last days. Quite frankly, we're in the final hours, and Jesus Christ is coming soon. For anybody watching right now, if you are somebody who has not yet received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, and you would like to do so, I want to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. This is a prayer you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing you want to do right off the top, acknowledge that you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. As he died and rose again for you and me, he paid the cost. What you have to do, your role is to repent of your sin. That means to turn from sin, not just to say you're sorry and then jump back to your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away. And the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. Again, more info down below. Don't forget the links to donate to the ministry are there as well. Join the Patreon for as little as five bucks a month. Patreon.com slash not by site news link in the description, or just hit the super thanks button down below on this video here where you can tip me with a one-time donation. It's all a great blessing. Thank you all again so much for watching. Really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.